Okay, we're going to start learning Fox on the Run. Uh, the first video I'm going to show, though, is is the solo guitar part, or I guess a keyboard could play this part, too. Um, but I'm going to show this to you anyway, and uh, the guitar players that want to take this on, it's a, it's a real challenge. It's um, using your fingers in a different kind of pattern that we usually do as far as solo guitar players. But... I think I've showed some of you this that it's important to think of it as one one finger per fret. So this finger would cover this fret, this finger, this fret, third fret, fourth fret. So if you're going to play notes like we we've learned in uh, I think the uh, P Deep Purple song, let's say you went chromatic up from let's say from an A, you would go using all four of the fingers. So that's the, the theory that we're using on this, this song. So the first part of the song, it's kind of a stretch. You use your pinky on the ninth fret on the A string. Ninth fret in the A string. And then you go down to the sixth fret on the A string. So it goes. So the first thing to do is really practice that, the strength in your fingers doing that. And then the third one note is the B using your second finger on the E string. So it goes. And you have to get used to using this um, quickly. You need to play this um, riff really fast. It goes. It's slow. And like I said before, even if the keyboard players play this lick, it's a great guitar lick to know how to play. So that's the first part. And then the second part goes. So now you're on the G string on the sixth fret. D string on the seventh fret and the on the um, A string you're playing the seventh fret as well. So it's like a chord, it's like a guitar chord, an E chord actually, the same kind of shape as an E chord that you were to play down here. So it's up here. So those two together go. explain that good enough. Please, if, if I didn't explain this very well, please give me a text or something saying, could you please show me something different or whatever, and then, then I'll try to improve on it. And then the third part is you play that same type of structure that we do in the beginning, only you play it down starting on the, on the G string. Excuse me on the on the D string. So So with your pinky you're on the ninth fret, sixth fret on the G string, on the sixth sixth fret on the D string, excuse me. So it's the same thing as the beginning one. Only you move down a string. So the whole lick goes like this. So I hope uh, that makes some kind of sense. Um, it's a great finger exercise anyway. So um, 
I'll send that off to you and uh, see what you can do with that. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.